lights, action, camera. Morning, everybody. Cole here again. Look, uh, just love, you know, just sharing the word of God. I don't know everything or profess to know everything. I'm not a know-all. But hey, after nearly 40 years in ministry, you do learn some things. And here in John chapter 14, uh, Jesus says to Peter, he says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. So, you know, what does it mean to have a troubled heart? I just think there's a lot of people out there right now with a troubled heart. And we sort of think that that means anxious and things like that. But, you know, that a worried heart is actually the fruit of a troubled heart. That's what it's actually talking about. You know, Peter here, he's talking to Peter like, let's read from uh, chapter 13, where Jesus is going away. He's leaving. And so Simon Peter in verse 36 says, Simon Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus said, where I'm going, you cannot follow me, but you shall follow afterwards. And Peter said, Lord, uh, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for your sake. So, you know, Jesus answered, will you lay down your life for my sake? Most assuredly, I say, the rooster shall not crow till you've even denied me three times. Ever said some things you wish you'd never said? So, you know, a troubled heart really here. Peter, like many religious people, think that, you know, he believed in God, but he didn't believe in that Jesus could bring eternal life. He thought that he had to actually add something, do something, sacrifice something. You know, it's not the cross plus what you can do or add. It's not praying more or fasting more or tithing more or sacrificing more. And all of those things are great, but they don't do anything to add or bring eternal life to us. It does nothing. You know, it's the cross plus nothing. The cross changed everything. So a troubled heart, like I say, Peter here, Peter's heart was troubled about works. Uh, like many today, his belief system was demanded that he had to do something to achieve or re receive eternal life. Thinking by laying down his life, he could... Uh, you know, sacrificing something by doing something that he could actually help Jesus. Now, I'm not saying we don't do anything, but that's not what, uh, that's works. Like anything else can be works. We're talking about eternal life. Only Jesus' sacrifice on the cross paid the price. It's believing in the finished work of the cross, believing in Jesus and plus nothing. It's not the cross plus what you can do or I can do. It's the cross plus nothing. It's believing in the finished work of Christ. Uh, you know, it's Jesus alone. You know, we're saved by grace. Here's a revelation. We're not saved by faith, the way we seem to think we are, but that's arrogance. I, don't have, I didn't have enough faith to save myself. I wouldn't even, it was the grace of God that saved me. You know, I love the way that New Living Translation brings out, it brings out Ephesians here. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. God saved you by his grace when you believed. And you can't take credit for this. It's a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for your good things that you've done, so none of us can boast about it. It says here, salvation is not a reward for your good works, for the good things that you've done. It's by grace. Yes, through faith, but it's by grace alone. I love that. So, you know, what, just thinking about here, what must we do, you know, Again, let me go back to John chapter 14, verse 1, where it says, You believe in God, believe in me. Now, a lot of people believe in God. Half the world believe in God, but they don't believe in Jesus. And believing in God is not what's going to bring you eternal life. It's believing in the finished work of Christ. God sent his son. Remember that, you know? And uh, he laid down his life. He laid down his life for us. Uh, you know, where is it? There's scripture there in John 15, where it says here, Greater love has no man than this, and he lay down his life for his friends. And Jesus laid down his life for us. It was his sacrifice alone. And it's not works. Is that right? Peter thinks, I need to do something. I've got to add to this. Why can't I go where you're going? You know, but Jesus said, you believe in God. Now believe in me. Believe in the finished work of Christ. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that? It's the gospel is so good news, and it's so easy to share. Hey, we just need to keep it short because nobody listens to long messages anymore. So God bless. See you soon.